Okay, thank, good morning. This is Wayne Bilal. Uh, today we're going to talk about how to use a sample company and why you would use it. In order, in, in this particular lesson, we're actually going to show you how to switch financial statements from cash to accrual because that was a question we got. If you notice, we basically come in here where there's a company file, and this is a list of all the companies you've used in the past. We're not going to worry about that. You notice down here in the lower right-hand corner, it says open sample file. So let's click on that. And we're actually going to open this one here. The, this has a list of them if you look. It's various ones and you can find the one that's in your area. I'm going to open this one, the consulting company. And when you open it, let's give it a second here. Yeah? You're going to get this message that says, you know, this is an ex a sample file. Use it as an example or for practice while learning QuickBooks. So that's basically that's what a good use of it is, is to see how to set something up correctly. Um, we're going to move forward and we're basically going to change some things around. I, I always like to have the view set up open window list and that's because I can see what's here. You know, a lot of times I've walked into places and they have, you know, this whole line of things of things they've opened in the past. And if this isn't open, you notice you don't see it. And that's something that's happened before where I've seen computers really slow down. So I, I like to change it to there, one window. And one of the things I do with a sample company is I just open one of the checking accounts to see when they're used, what the dates are. Um, let's open the operating one. And if you notice, they're actually setting it in the future, 2014, 2015. Why is that important? Well, if you're practicing or you're doing reports, if you run a report for 2012, you're not going to get anything. So let's do first things. Let's talk about the reports and let's talk about cash and accrual. Let's open up a report. Here we're going to go and open a profit and loss report. And you notice right here it tells us exactly what it's being opened in, in an accrual basis. All right. In a cruel basis, I'm not going to go into this in great detail, but basically what it does, and, and I'll show you a little bit by opening the financial st the profit balance sheet, excuse me. Um, a cruel basis records information, records income when it's billed. So you'll have an accounts receivable and it records expenses when you receive the bill, when you spend the money. So you'll have an accounts payable. So let's take a look at this. You'll see, let's, let's make this for... The, what happens if I do this? This fiscal year to date, uh, this fiscal year, I think it's kind of, oh, well, okay, they've set it up where the fiscal year is 2014. Let's take a look at the sales. See, we're on an accrual basis, $359,000. If I go to the, right here to modify report, oops, it opened on the other screen. Let me pop it over here. You see the section right here where it says report basis. We have accrual. If I just switch that to cash, hit OK. And you'll see the sales. Now it says cash basis. Look at the sales are at 341. Remember this? Go back to accrual. You'll see sales are at 359. Well, what's the difference? Well, the difference is those sales that were billed but not yet received. All right. Balance sheet. This is on an accrual basis. Notice I have receivables. Notice I have payables. If I modify the report, put it on cash, you're going to see those disappear. If they don't disappear, you have a problem. You did some errors and QuickBooks and we'll talk about that in a future tip how to get rid of those anyways let's say right now the default is when I what I mean by default is when I close the balance sheet let's just close it and close the income statement and when I open it what is it going to open as well you see it's going to open as accrual so if I want to change that I want to see it on a cash basis when I first open it I can go to edit go down to preferences Again, it opened in the other window. Let me bring it over here. Go down to Reports. See it? Company Preferences. Notice there's my own personal preferences. These are ones that are going to be just for your computer. And Company-wide Preferences. And see right here, I can change it to Cash. Say OK. Now, in the future, when I open that report, it will open in a cash basis. So that's how you switch between them. Uh, read my earlier blog about why you might want to switch between them. And remember sample companies. Sample companies are a great way to look at how things are set up so that you can follow them and also to do some tweaking and practicing without messing with your current uh, QuickBooks records. So especially if you have somebody new. So until next time, this is Wayne Bilal, and you have a great day and make this our best year ever.